G'day, I'm uh, Jeff Cumming. Let's start with a set of data, the very lifeblood of research. And I'm going to uh, use a measure you may be familiar with, the visual analog scale for pain, which is simply a 100 millimeter line on a piece of paper or a computer screen. And we just ask people, please rate your pain somewhere between zero at uh, the left hand end here and the most excruciating pain you can imagine at the right hand end. Let's suppose we've got uh, 100 measurements of pain from uh, 100 patients. And here they are just simply typed in as a list of numbers, 54, 42, 69. Here we've got the same numbers ordered from the lowest to the highest, 30, 34, 35. Now, always the first step in uh, data analysis in research is to draw a picture. I love pictures. Let's look at our data. Let's try and figure out what these data are trying to tell us. Well, the first picture we can look at is the dot plot down here. Pretty straightforward. Each measurement is just a dot. Think of it as a whole lot of little um, basketballs along an axis there. So here's the lowest measurement, about 30, the highest, about 78 or so, and they're sort of piled up in the middle. An alternative picture is a frequency histogram, as we have up here. We simply divide the scale, the VAS scale, into bins. And these bins, the first one from 27.5 to 32, and we've got just one value in that bin. So here we have frequency or number of data points. In this next bin from 32 to 36.5, we've got six data points and so on. And uh, you say, well, how do we set up the bins? That's a bit arbitrary. That's a matter of judgment. At the moment, I've got 12 bins, but I'm going to now reduce the number of bins. Notice how the dot plot down the bottom doesn't change at all. I'm not changing the data. I'm just showing you a different picture of it. And here we've got sort of ridiculously wide bins. And I can go up to a very large number of bins like this until eventually we've got perhaps a ridiculously high number of bins. So you ask, how many bins? That's a question for judgment. Often about 8, 10, 12 is quite reasonable. But um, one of the basic lessons of uh, data analysis is that it's not just some choose the right formula, get the computer to do a bit of maths. It's your judgment. And just as in everything else in research and professional practice, you need to have the confidence, develop the confidence to make choices, make informed judgments in the uh, clinical or research situation. And here's one tiny example where you need to choose how many bins for your frequency histogram. Isn't it beautiful just to look at pictures of our data? That's the way we're going to understand what's going on.